Let's talk about a very popular Austrian gold coin, whose origin dates back to early 16th century, but is still minted by one of the most reputable mints in the world and is sold around the globe like hot donuts. Austrian Ducat gold coin with the current weight and purity has been minted since 1511. Ducats from previous centuries bore images of old Austrian monarchs. Contemporary Austrian Ducat, however, does not bear an image of, let's say, a current Austrian president, but of Franz Josef I, the longest reigning Austrian emperor who died in 1916. Although Franz Josef I has been deceased for more than a century, there are peculiar reasons why his face is stubbornly carried on Austrian ducats to this day. But before I tell you more about those reasons, let me first introduce to you the coin itself. The first ducat with the image of the Emperor Franz Josef was minted and put into circulation in 1852, four years after his ascension to the Austrian throne. At a time, he was 22 years old, so the image on the coin is from his very young age. Interestingly, the image hasn't been updated as Franz Josef grew old. He was 86 when he died, but the image on the last edition of the Ducat from 1915 was still the one of a young emperor. Franz Josef died in the middle of the First World War, which he himself started after his nephew, Archduke Ferdinand, was assassinated in 1914. In a sense, he was the author of the phrase Archduke Ferdinand moment. Those were the tumultuous years for Austria that resulted in a loss of a war and the dissolution of the empire. However, Austrian ducats in the course of many centuries gained such a great reputation and were in such high demand that the Austrian mint that produced them made a decision to continue production with the dyes of the last available edition. Those newly minted old Austrian ducats are called restrikes. Thus, contemporary Austrian ducats look exactly the same as ducats minted in 1915. Years pass by, even a whole century has passed, but Austrian ducats stay the same. Even nominal minting year, which is impressed upon the coin, doesn't change. Although we live in the 21st century, Austrian ducats are stuck in the past, in the year 1915 precisely. But that's actually a very appealing data point for some gold coin investors, particularly from the United States. You do know that possession of gold had been legally prohibited in the US from 1933 until 1971, don't you? One could end up in jail if the authorities realized the person had gold coins under the mattress. However, prohibition didn't apply to gold coins that could be numismatically interesting. Austrian ducats were such coins. They were considered valuable rarities. U.S. authorities seem to have overlooked the fact that 1915 Austrian ducats with the image of Franz Josef in most cases weren't from the year 1915, but were contemporary coins, mass-produced and with no numismatic value. That loophole made the ownership of gold in the U.S. somewhat possible. That's why Austrian ducats are still rather popular in the U.S., particularly among those gold investors who fear that gold ownership may again become illegal. Austrian ducats from the past were minted in many sizes. Two ducat, three ducat, 
five ducat, even 10 and 20 ducat apiece. Today, only one ducat and four ducat remain in production. They have all been produced from 98.6% pure gold blanks. Why 986 and not higher? For many centuries, this was the highest technologically achievable purity in gold refining. So, Austrian ducats in that regard stay true to their history. If you are interested, not in 1915 restrikes, but in truly old Austrian ducats. They are quite readily available on the secondary market, mostly in Europe and in particular in European countries that had been part of Austro-Hungarian Empire until its dissolution in 1918. Those countries are Austria, Hungary, Czech Republic, Slovakia, Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia-Herzegovina, as well as parts of Romania, Ukraine, Poland, and Serbia. Those old Austrian ducats are easy to recognize. They have a year other than 1915 imprinted upon its reverse side. So, for example, if otherwise exactly the same Austrian ducat bears the year 1913 rather than 1915, it is considered an old coin. The same goes with any other year. Some years are very valuable and sought for in numismatic circles and can be sold for rather large markups. But remember, if the year is 1915, the ducat is a restrike and doesn't have additional numismatic value. Its worth is only of a gold bullion, which means the value of its pure gold content. Austrian ducats is only 0.74 millimeters thick, which is roughly 1 32nd of an inch. When you take it into hands, it feels as if it is produced of a simple sheet metal. There is no much heft to it, but the first impression is deceiving, because they are so popular. Austrian ducats are sometimes counterfeited, and very often those counterfeits were thicker than genuine pieces. Thus, thickness is important to observe. Austrian ducats should be thin, or they are not genuine. How can one discern whether an Austrian ducat is real or not real? Counterfeit ducats are typically produced of base metals, which greatly differ from gold in their physical properties. Thus, coins that aren't genuine are either heavier or lighter than the original, or they are either larger or smaller in diameter or thickness. So, the first precaution is to measure the coin with a caliper and check its weight with a weighing scale. If a specimen has expected measures, it is almost certainly genuine. The remaining doubt can be removed by close observance of the features of motives on both sides of the ducat. I will teach you what to pay a, te a special attention on. But before, let's state the standard measures of Austrian ducats currently in production so that you can competently do the first technical inspection. One Austrian ducat has a total weight of 3.49 grams and contains 3.44 grams of pure gold, or 0.11 troy ounces. Its diameter is 20 millimeters, or 0.787 inches. Four Austrian ducat has a total weight of 13.96 grams and contains 13.76 grams of pure gold or 0.44 troy ounces. Its diameter is 39.6 millimeters or 
5.59 inches. Measures of each ducat may vary slightly, and the gold coin can still be perfectly genuine. If, for example, thickness is 0.73 millimeters or 0.75 millimeters, the coin is still okay because both numbers are within the acceptable tolerance. However, if thickness is 0.8 or above, or 0.7 or less, the coin is probably not genuine. Similar is with diameter, which can vary 0.1 to 0.2 millimeters in both directions. When you measure your coins, keep in mind that the caliper and the weight scale can also be slightly off. Both 1 and 4 Austrian ducats have a reeded edge. That is so that if someone tries to grate some gold dust off the edge, the attempt can be quickly spotted. One Austrian ducat gold coin on the obverse carries the image of a head profile of the Austrian emperor, turned to the right. Around the emperor's head, there is the following inscription. Franz Ios IDG Austriae Imperator. First part of the inscription is an abbreviation which stands for Franciscus Josephus Primus Dei Gratia. The translation of the inscription is Franz Josef I, by the grace of God, Austrian Emperor. The reverse of the one Austrian ducat gold coin bears the coat of arms of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, two-headed eagle with the wings spread and with the sword and the scepter in its clutches. Around the eagle there is the inscription that lists all the titles of the Austrian Emperor, which includes all the European lands ruled by him, Lodomeria, Illyria, Austria, Hungary, Bohemia, Galicia from Ukraine. Part of the inscription is also the year of issuance, which is, as we explained in many instances, 1915. When you look for the physical coups, whether a ducat is genuine, you will need a good magnifying glass. Look at the sharpness of letters in this inscription. Also, look if the beard and hair on the head are distinguishable and clear. Counterfeit coins look dull and shallow. On the reverse side of the coin, look if the feathers on the wings are well defined and sharp. Also, check if the motive on the both sides are properly centered. Counterfeits are sometimes off-center. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it interesting and valuable. If you like it, please give it thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.